So uh, first, I just want you to talk a little bit about, I mean, I don't know how many people know about your early beginnings. I, I know about them because I've, I've known your history. I've read your book. But you really, you, you're an award-winning hairdresser. It's not like you got in this by accident. Talk a little bit about your beginnings. Well, you know, I think uh, this week, Mark, 35 years ago, my first show outside uh, Texas was in Chicago. And it was me, another two people, Beverly Bernard and Mary Janini. And this is happened that this is Mary Janine. Oh 30, my gosh. 35 years ago, we did one stage, was about five feet by five feet, perhaps. And uh, we introduced ourselves with the first ammonia free hair color and, and the history of our business. And today, 35 years later, you know, I'm, I'm proud to say we are the biggest company and the show. So 35 years ago, we were the smallest, and today we are the biggest in the United States of America. And now, the reason you introduced ammonia free hair color. Because I had won the championship of the United States of America as the colorist, you know, of the year or whatever. And then I became allergic to hair color. And I could not practice uh, the profession I chose for myself. Okay, and it was quit uh, or do something about it, and I did something about it. And I, you know, I was allergic to ammonia and bleach and hair color, so I made my own bleach and my own hair color. That was ammonia free. And you are kind of the epitome of, I would say, the American dream. Because you came here with very little. With very little. Uh, but I got a lot of biggest thing that you can get in the United States of America. It is opportunity. I got opportunity that you couldn't get it in any other country. And uh, so, really, thank God, you know, we are blessed to be living the American dream. And we started as a mission to save hairdressers' life from harsh chemicals in the salon business. When everybody was calling to save the planet, we were calling to save the life of the hairdresser. And that hairdresser deserved to breathe fresh air, not contaminated with ammonia and chemicals that causes lots of sickness and as I was one of the victims, I didn't want it to be with other hairdressers. So hairdressers who were familiar with the danger of ammonia, they joined us as a mission. Nobody was working for the root system to get paid. Why? Because we didn't have the money to pay them. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the truth? So we were exchanging products, you know, with the hairdressers. But it started as a mission, and then a third toy business. And it's really nice to make money and to make it with honor. We give back, you know, we have, uh, so far we have uh, 35 patent issues, you know, for us, and I have many are building, you know, so we made a change in the beauty industry. You know, we introduced safer hair color, uh, we introduced self. We are the first company to introduce self for hair. And then we're the first to introduce ceramic uh, uh, hair iron. You know, what? that's what she stands for, the ceramic hair iron. And uh, now we are coming with the digital color factory, you know, that is today and the future. As the number one service in salon, is hair color and i'm a colorist you know that's my specialty you know for the last 56 years i i believe i experienced every color i tried every color i formulated my own color and i love color i live color i dream color I, you know i wake up with color and really came with the idea how to really have uh, the best you know gps of hair color what i'm calling it now you know because Sometimes hairdressers have a problem 
uh, choosing a formula, you know. So what we were able is to really with our top educators and top colorists in the United States of America and Europe, you know, we came out with over 30,000 formulations that every, you know, whatever color you have, you can achieve the color uh, that you intend to achieve with perfection and without waste of color, without uh, waste of aluminum and tubes and bottles and plastic. And the same, the machine even keeps record. You know, this is a patent partnership between Qi company, Hope System, and LG, you know, of South Korea. And we had worked on this for three and a half years and they're going to be covering Asia and will be covering uh, the rest of the world with the color machine, you know, the color factory. It is the future, uh, the hairdresser, give the hairdresser the ability and the artistic ability to achieve a million of color with the click of the button. And the client can enjoy seeing hair color before it's applied to her. So once the client approves, you know, her picture, and hairdresser can really uh, book their appointment and prepare their colors, you know, to their clients on their cellular smartphone from their house before they get to work. And the machine tells you when a can is down, you know, and how much ounce is there is still live there. And it's accurate to the one gram which is like one eye drop, one drop only. It is that much accuracy. And that's really give the hairdresser the ability to adjust their own colors. If they want their browns warmer or cooler or darker or lighter, it is very easy with a click of the button. And it's it, a dream come true. Well, and it also, your timing is so good because you've been, you, you have always been about helping the hairdresser, helping them have a better life, a more fulfilling life, and after everything hairdressers and salons have gone through, to come out with something that is going to make their life easier, make their pr profession more profitable. And that kind of leads me into an award that you received, uh, not yesterday, on Saturday. Uh, you were one of the beauty heroes of the pandemic. So you were given an award for all that you have been giving back during this really difficult time. And I know I've watched you do that over the years when there were natural disasters and hurricanes. I've watched truckloads of Chi and Peru products pull up to salons, pull up to parking lots. Um, talk about what you, what you have done during this really difficult time. And it's also wonderful just to see you because I think you, you took, I think there was a time where you thought, I'm gonna, you know, maybe you step back and just do formulating and I'm gonna, and I That's sort of- not his style. Well, and I feel like you need, I almost feel like you came back because the hairdresser needed you. And, and I feel like you're, you're out, it's so good to see you out here again. This is love for the industry and for all of us. You know, I mean, you know, we're a company of hairdressers, you know, so something about hairdressers, we are artists, we're passionate people, you know, and we love people. You cannot be a hairdresser if you don't like people, okay? So, I, you know, it, it's really a pleasure to work with people, you know, hairdressers, we love people, and uh, making people uh, look good and feeling good, it's very rewarding, you know. And uh, besides the financial rewarding, you know, maybe, we are artists. And I like to see artists getting rich while they're alive. <laughs> <laughs> Not after their death as other artists, you know. We are living artists on living human beings, you know. That's, that's our art is on living human being, you know. So we really, the artists that really uh, get rewarded every time we look at the lady when we fix her hair and she looks so beautiful. It's so rewarding for us, okay? And to see people happy and to make people happy makes you the happier, okay? So, and the industry, unfortunately, you know, there is no focus from the manufacturer on the hairdresser, okay? The, their focus is on their product and selling their product. 
But we need to progress the hairdresser. We need to move the hairdresser. You know, we, we need to be involved. We need to be deciding our uh, future, not other manufacturer deciding that for us. So we are a group of hairdressers, you know, and, you know, we have a thousand robots. And our mission was always, you know, environmental product, education, innovation, okay. and, you know, in ethics also, you know, the ethics of the business. Don't introduce something, you know, I used to drink every product I introduce always, you know, that, to make sure that we are doing the safest thing, you know, for the hairdresser. But we started with color. And really, that's where the chemical service, and right now, the number one service in the salon is hair color. Sure. Well, whatever service, you know, whether it's demi, semi, whatever is needed, you know, it's one digital machine is going to do that. And we're going to add marketing to it. You know, the machine, you know, uh, we will keep improving on it. Like, what we need is as soon as the lady leaves, send her a thank you. Our, you know, color factory machine will send, you know, a thank you and pleasure to see you. In three, four weeks, it's time, you know, to come back and I book you the appointment. And after that, maybe we can send her the collection and her picture with a new collection, giving her the option, you know, to be blonder or lighter. Or in the winter, you know, we go darker with the hair, you know. Excite people about their work. And, you know, really, this factory machine is going to do that for us. So it's going to do the marketing as well. So now I'm thinking of more than placing the, the factory machine and so on, and I'm making it easy. Yeah. You know, because over 70% of our salons in the United States of America are both rental, okay? And they don't have the space to really have a color line. They don't. They have to run to the store every day or every other day to buy color. We can put one machine. Yeah. And really what we do it. We are leasing it for $100 a month. So if you have a booth rental, you know, five people, it's $20 for them to have that. You know, really, it's available like for salons, really. It saves lots of time, no waste. You know, save the hairdresser an average of 30% of saving on wasted color and oxidizing color. And plus, you know, the amount of you know, tubes and bottles and plastic, mm -hmm. you know, that really there is. So now we really with 12 cans, you know, mm -hmm. recyclable, everything, you know, ready to change the industry in that era. You know, we improving also on one thing very, very important, and it really was a dream for me so many years. Standing on my feet, you know, behind a chair of 50 years, I always complained about Kurt Cobain, you know. Yeah. And my dream was, why can't we have, you know, the lightest shoes, especially for hairdressers? And what really, what we lack is blood circulation when we stand on our feet. So we came up with the idea and we executed the idea with the Chi Footwear. Chi Footwear is made for hairdressers. It's white, so they can land on more space, okay? And the weight is spread over uh, a bigger area of their feet. And it has all, you know, the uh, points in, inside the shoes that a few points that really give, you know, the everything mm -hmm. you know, in life is under the feet there. So we will have blood circulation going on all the time. Body temperature retains the same thing. You know, our body no cold feet, okay? And the inside for the first time in history is made with graphene. Graphene kills bacteria, the graphene circulates blood, graphene kills fungus, and it's just in time for hairdressers. So we can really stand on our feet eight hours and 10 hours and 12 hours without, you know, really being, you know, suffering, you know, it's a relief. You know what I love, Crew, is that you always, always still refer to yourself and other hairdressers as we. We, we can stand on our feet. You. We yeah. need this. Your identification has always been with hairdressers. And I think that that 
is a real point of difference. And I'm just so glad that you could give us all this time. Will you just introduce yourself one more time? And uh, because 35 years together, yeah, right? Uh, you, were yeah. there, you were there at the start. I was at the very beginning. My name is Mary Giannini. I am here from Chicago. And I met the group 35 years ago. And he actually gave me a kiss to try, which well, thought he was a little bit goofy for what he was saying. <laughs> but um, after I worked with it, um, yeah, I, I got sold on it, and I'm still here. And the idea of having a product that it's healthy, it's long, ammonia free. The odors are amazing. Uh, people walk in my salon and think it's a spa, you know, because of the aroma that we have. Yeah. Um, and it, it is safe. Yeah. I used to get migraines really bad, and after I started using the product, I stopped getting migraines. And that's, again, I think it's the ammonia contents that's in the, the products. So I was sold from the very beginning, and Farouk has been an awesome. He's not a boss, he's a family. He treats us like family. Uh, there's no differentiation between him and us. We are red. We are red, yes. Yeah. And uh, yeah. 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 there's not enough I can say about it. <laughs> well, I'm just so, you've been so generous with your time because this you have a lot going on and it's all, as always, about helping the hairdresser. Well, I appreciate what you all do to help the hairdresser too. 